I was born in a very, very tiny village with four or five households and therefore it didn't have a school. Luckily, I got to learn from my own mother, reading, writing. I got to play in the fields, working with you know animals, sowing seeds, jumping in the river, climbing trees. What could be better for a child? I saw that so many children were failing in the mainstream examinations. So we did various measures that reduced the failure rate drastically from 95% to say 25%. Fighting with the cold of the mountains, the water scarcity of a mountain desert and so on. So in that series uh, we came across water issues and therefore the Aistupa artificial glacier. They learn from various ways, not just their books. Books become a very small part. They learn from being at the school. The school has various ways that it makes living there a learning experience. For example, the students run the school as a little country with their own little elected government and a little parliament. <laughs> Learning should be contextual. When it is in some context, it is hard to forget. When it is with no context, just made to read, write, memorize something out of place, then it is hard to remember. We should trust more our teenagers, our young adults, you know. We treat them as if they can't think for themselves, they are irresponsible. We start with that approach and of course then we end up doing everything for them. I think nature has equipped them with enough sensibilities and energies to take care of not only themselves but of their near and dear ones. Universities have become this very theoretical place where you gain paper knowledge, take paper exams, get paper degrees, all paper, nothing real. So the world needs real world university, doers university, where you learn hands on. We are going to set up in Ladakh one model of it. And if it is successful, we hope that it will have ripple effects in New Delhi to New York. Education be, should be about solving problems and making the world happier. If it only tortures the students for the ritual they perform, it is out of date. We need a bit of de-schooling. Yeah? We are so schooled into squares and rectangles and circles that we lose this flexibility to be organic. <laughs> <laughs>